The hundred firefighters from Seymour and surrounding towns quickly put down a fierce blaze Saturday in the former Housatonic Wire Company on River Street in Seymour. Nobody was in the building at the time and no firefighters were injured as they put down the flames by 5.05 p.m. in a quick response. By 6.20 p.m., the scene appeared to be under control as several ladder trucks pumped water through the three-story brick building, which apparently lost its roof in the blaze. Damage to the building appeared to be extensive. What we have is we had an abandoned building that was under demolition. They were doing some interior removal of material. Um, the fire started about 420 afternoon. Um, we have the state DEP and a state fire marshal here investigating. We're not sure exactly what happened and how it started. Um, we have um, about uh, the three alarm fire. We have uh, people from Oxford and Sonia, Beacon Falls, Woodbridge covering. We're also at the scene. Um, about 100 firefighters on scene right now. Um, there are some, there has been some debris that flew in the air when it first started. People see that in their yard, don't touch it, and contact the Seymour Police Department. So that way we can check it out and make sure everything's safe. What, what do you mean debris? It's from the roof when it's first went from the roof. How as far as hazard, what, what type of hazard is it? We're not sure. We just want to make it a precaution to make sure that uh, people don't touch it and take a look at it. So there was an explosion? No explosion. What were the people doing inside? Were they stripping the wire? They were, yeah, removing material from the inside of the building. They were here earlier during the day um, working, so we're not sure exactly what happened. Were they using torches, do you know, or not? I'm not sure. Were they here at the time that the fire was detected? Or? No. Nobody was in the building the fire time the fire started. Do you know how long they had been gone? No. Uh, so right now what we're doing is preliminary, we're trying to get the fire under control, it's under control now, we're trying to get it out. Um, as we get more information to come back, we'll let you know exactly what's going on. Any chance anyone else got in the building? Or no, I don't think so, I think everybody's out. Um, everybody's what, what was difficult about fighting this particular fire? Well, the heat of the day and also the amount of fire, there's a large amount of fire. Any firefighters injured? Anyone no, nobody's injured? Nobody's injured. Uh, everybody's safe. And do you know what time it started? 420 is happening. Actually, 420. Is the building a total loss now, and will it be demolished? Um, we're not sure at this point. That we're not able to get inside the building because of the uh, danger of collapse. The building has been empty several years while developers hashed over plans to redevelop the four acre property, which includes a scenic waterfall. It is directly across the street from the Naugatuck River. This is Tony Spinelli for the Valley Independent Sentinel.